Okay, I'm going to try to do a quick video about the uh, printing different colors from the AMS uh, from the pre-sliced files. Now, I don't know how to, this is the best I can do. But if you go to the spool, you have that option right there, PLA, and then it gives you the four drop downs. So that's that. But if you go back and you go to anything else, the dinosaur, you get that and you can't touch any of those or do anything so uh, if you come down to these multicolor ones where are they at like this one it'll give you slot one and slot two so that's going to print uh, multicolor i assume i haven't done it but sh should be used so back we're going to go back to uh the only thing I've been printing out of the uh, out of slot three are these spools. I've been printing orange or whatever, but like I said, it gives you the drop down for that. So if you go over here to the computer, click on it, open it up, prepare, and come over here to sync. You can see that there's there's no colors in there. So, what we're going to do, we're going to go, what we're going to do is we're going to go there, AMS, and we see it's all empty. So, what I'm going to do is load this up with two bamboo colors and two uh, generic colors. So, we got bamboo blue, we'll put in. Get that going. Hopefully it'll do its thing. There, it recognizes that it's blue. Okay. Now we got bamboo, bamboo red. Same thing. Get it going. And now. It's up there and now it recognizes that it's red so we got blue and we got red bamboo so yeehaw then I'm gonna put in some white marble some white marble all kinds of unwound in slot three here some white marble PLA, Polyterra, whatever it is, but it's going to go through its thing. It's not going to recognize it, so just get it to spin around a little bit. And so all right, it doesn't know what's in there. It's question mark, of course, which is fine. And now we'll put in some uh, inland uh, PETG. So that's all fine and good. We'll throw that in the fourth slot there. And it'll go round and round to do its thing. And there, it doesn't know what's in slot four. Okay, that's fine and good. We know that. So now we'll come back over to the slicer. We'll, uh, Click on that, and now it knows in slot one it's blue, slot two it's red. Okay, that's fine and good. So we'll add two more, and we'll just real quick call this white, okay, and this one black, okay, and it's PETG, so we'll go down to generic PETG. Good. Okay, so that's what we have in there. Now let's bring in a file, import, whatever. We'll do this one, open. Okay, awesome. So we got blue, but we want to make it red. So we're going to go here, go down to change filament, and we're going to click red. All fine and good. Slice it up. Cool. We hit print. What happens? It goes to two. Red. Awesome. But yeah, wait, I changed my mind. I want to do it in white. 
So we'll go back to prepare. We'll come here, right click, change filament. I want to do white. Click on it, changes to white, slice, hit print. Oh, it's going to go to one, blue. Okay, that's not what I want. Click on it. I want slot three. Okay, now it's going to print three. Awesome. Okay, so that is that. We'll go back to prepare. Let's come over here to the touch screen and we're going to click on that. It'll move. Oh, also, if I open up the app, maybe if I don't close it, if I open up the app, you see we have blue and red and question mark in those. So let me close that out. We'll come over here and we're going to go manufacturer, generic, material, PLA, and we'll change it to white. Confirm that should change to white if I press the right color I didn't I didn't hit the right color white White there we go confirm white. Okay, go here. That's moving Any day now, okay manufacturer we're gonna call it generic material PETG and we're gonna leave it black confirm awesome so now we'll come over here to the app, open it up, and now it sees that there's white PLA, white PE or black PETG. Fabulous. So let's go back up here to we'll sync this again, but uh, so no. What I'll do is I'll change this color to that. And we'll change this to, I don't know, PC, whatever. We'll change this white to whatever random color that is. And we'll change this to ABS. So we've changed all that, but now we're going to sync it. And it comes up white PLA, generic PETG. So I want to print this black. We'll go back to filament, right click, change filament. Click number four, and now we will slice. It's done slicing, we'll hit print, and now it populates four. I don't have to click on it to say I really want four. So that is all well and good. But we're trying to print from the SD card. Now spool, This now I can click down and I can click PLA, it will not let me print, print it in PETG. So that's that. But you go to spool one, spool two, you have the same option. Back, you go to the dinosaur, you don't have these options. So I don't know why that only the, the spool allows you to pick it and the rest of them don't. Um, this just... I don't know what the deal is. So it's obviously there that you can change the color, but for some reason it won't. Um, the good thing about loading it up is when you go to slice it on the on the slicer and you, you want slot number four, you get slot number four. You don't have to uh, re you don't have to click it again. If I want to go to, if I want to change this to white, change filament, three, slice print and there it is three selected so that's that uh i hope that makes sense i hope it helps something and um yeah hopefully they'll be able to change that in a firmware update that you can change the pre-slice uh, items to a different color like you can the spool so thanks for watching have a great day